What if I told you that your dream life was inevitable? Close your eyes and imagine what your dream life looks like. You see it so clearly. That is inevitable. Your happiness is inevitable. You get to have it and you don't have to prove yourself or bend over backwards to get it. You just have to want it and take dedicated action towards that wanting every single day. Take dedicated leaps of faith when you feel inspired. It's really that easy. You don't have to force your way through life. You don't have to force your way through hard work. If you don't feel like doing something, then don't do it. Because whatever you're going to produce in that feeling of not wanting, in that feeling of resistance, is going to be inadequate anyway. Your dreams come through leaps of faith and through inspiration, through love, through fun, through flow. That is when you should work. That is when you should go towards your dreams. It doesn't have to be hard because it is inevitable. But don't put it off any longer because you don't feel like you deserve it or because it seems out of reach or because only certain people are allowed to live their dream lives. Everybody can live whatever life they imagine. You just have to open yourself up to the possibility that it is a reality for you. Once you understand who you are, you will know, you will have a, such a deep inner knowing of what your dreams are and how truly attainable they are and how inevitable they are. It's not about whether it's going to happen or not. It's when are you going to step out of your own way and allow it to happen. Stop resisting the change and completely embody what it is you say you want. So many of us are striving to get towards the dream life and we believe we have to hustle so hard to get there and work 23 out of 24 hours a day to make it all happen and that's not the case. Your dreams, your success is inevitable, but who are you going to be when that life is realized? When the dreams are realized? That is what's most important. If you spend your entire life building up to that success and over pouring your energy into endeavors, into business endeavors, you're not going to have a whole bunch of life left by the time those dreams are realized. And by life, I mean energy. I mean exuberance, I mean happiness, joy. Once those dreams are realized, life doesn't stop, it continues. And so if you're tiger speed <laughs> all the way towards your dreams, you get the dreams and then what? You keep sprinting? There's no way you're going to be burnt out by the time your dreams come if you're moving that way. Trust and allow and flow, but most of all, believe what is yours is for you. And anything that is not for you will happily move aside. The life that you want is for you. If it wasn't for you, it would have never crossed your mind. If it wasn't for you, you wouldn't be here. Everyone in this life has goals and dreams and accomplishments that are inevitable, that are meant to be achieved. Because each one of us plays such an integral role into this thing that we call life. And whether you're aware of it or not, we are in the middle of a spiritual warfare. And so it's the innovators, the way makers, the dream chasers, the life livers, that experience that inevitability because we are here to make an impact. We are here to we are here to usher in a change that the world desperately needs. And if you think this is boo-boo or I don't know what I'm talking about, then that's fine. You're more than welcome to click off the video. 
but the people who know, people who resonate. You know we're here to make a change. You know that you do not have to do the most to be a part of that change because it's already in your DNA. It's why you're here right now in this timeline with the rest of us. And thank you for being here. And it's not this crazy new world that we think or we imagine or it's about to be the Illuminati or whatever craziness. The change that we're here to usher in is to deliver more love. We're here to wake people up to love, to presence, to peace. Because once you feel those things for yourself, you're able to then spread it across the world to other people. And we can all be a pillar of change together. It's these things that build up to big impacts. That stop wars, it's love, it's community, it's humanity. And it all starts with us. It all starts with knowing that our success is inevitable because our success is directly tied to humanity. It is directly tied to the betterment of us as people, as a community, as brothers and sisters of love. We've gotten so far away from what it means to love one another. what it means to be a soul, what it means to have experiences and life and presence. We've forgotten kindness. We've forgotten that we are all connected. We are all connected. You experience coincidences, we're connected. Synchronicities, we're connected. Divine intervention, we're connected. Meeting a new friend coincidentally, we're all connected. light workers, spiritual healers, thought leaders. We are here, we are waking up together to inspire a movement that matters and that is bigger than us. It's beyond the ego. Everyone deserves the chance to live. Everyone deserves to have their dreams come true. Nobody deserves to wake up to, nobody deserves to wake up to a war. Life is so precious. It starts with us. It starts with our success. It starts with us getting out of our own way and doing what we're called here to do, to usher in that change. Your dreams are a part of that change. Whether you want to be a, mu a musician, to a chef, to a retreat leader, whatever that looks like for you, it's all a part of the bigger picture. So please get out of your own way Know that your dreams are going to happen because you deserve them, because you've worked hard for them. You have worked hard for them. If you are watching this, you are a spiritual being and you have done your work or at least done a good portion of it. That's the hard work. That's the hustle that we have to do, that we had to do. So our physical, what we think of as physical hard work and the hustle and this is how we make our dreams come true. Yes, we do have to put in work in the physical to make things happen. A business doesn't just come out of the womb, so to speak. It does, but in the sense of tangible, we do have to put our hands on it and make things come together. But you don't have to hustle so hard to do it. You don't have to not get a wink of sleep to build an empire. The hard work starts with yourself, knowing that you're capable of building such a thing, knowing what your mission here is, and getting through all the blockages, all the traumas, all the, tr the triggers, the limiting beliefs, everything and anything that would stop you from your inner knowing and your truth. Your truth is that you're here to be successful. The truth is that success is inevitable. The truth is however you envision yourself is already your reality. You just have to get out of your own way and let it happen so that the bigger picture can emerge and we can all come together and do what we're here to do. Hope this message resonates tonight. I wish you a beautiful new moon. I wish you love. I wish you success and I wish you happiness. I wish you connection with your divine counterpart. And I wish you presence. I wish you true presence. And until the next video.